within a decade of its launch, Has Juice, which specializes in offering freshly prepared juices, is embracing the franchising route to ramp up its retail presence. With 17 operational outlets across Mumbai, Hemang Bhatt, director of Has Juice, now wants to open another 12 stores this year and plans to take the total store count to 100 within the next five. He tells retail experts exactly how he is prepared to do this. You know, in 2007, uh, we saw great potential in Indian retail format. I think so, first mover advantage, at least in Bombay, you can say that way, that, you know, the chain of juice, what we have opened in 2007, we started, there were very less players. Uh, during this journey, there are many more players that get into it and they've not been able to sustain. If you look at the, if you look at the global market, there are a lot many brands are there across uh, nations and they spread very well. They are uh, more into organized segment and I saw great potential while that time that you know why the Indians have we are, we are rich with our fruits but we are not rich with our juices. Our selling of juices were very unhygienic and that's when I thought of uh, getting into a juice brand. I see the beverage is going to be a very strong segment and I saw you know uh, the beverage is something which uh, which is convenient and people are going to buy over the time convenient product that's one uh, the inherent uh, benefit of this product secondly it is most natural product because if you look at the juice is the only product as a fruit which you can have raw so I have clicked with one idea that so before I started a company I, I have gone through a McKinsey reports and I found that there was only 2% organized sector uh, in compared to 52% was organized sector in US and that shows a clear indication that we are going through a, a big curve the, the segment is going to grow further ahead from here. Fruit is the most natural product and which I wanted to uh, spread across the nation. My thought has gone, the first thing is to tap the hygiene because that's where the difference between the unorganized and uh, organized sector is going to have. So I have given a lot of emphasis on the uh, hygiene factor, uh, internal cleanliness, uh, purchasing of the product in terms of raw material which I was purchasing is far better uh, you know in term far better product than what usually we see in the you know uh, uh, overall juice uh, centers uh, the other important factor is that we were always uh, uh, you know we, we wish and we have put our best efforts a customer can see our product how we you know make their product so we want a transparency and that's where again we you know wanted to be different than the rest of others I realized one thing that you know we talk about health but you know we don't drink health uh, so I, we're fine with it but I know that when we started talking it is going to implement over the time so we step in little uh, with our uh, few vegetable juices and uh, we in our complete range of juices I have introduced uh, six varieties of uh, vegetable juices I know that certain class of customers they now preferring more of vegetable juice rather than the fruit juices so uh, still it will take time to gear up the you know whole concept of uh, complete health and supplement products so my target consumer was initially uh, initial phase were more uh, you know uh, up, up, uh, you know upper class uh, currently my target audience is more with the you know uh, higher media higher middle class to upper class there is more versatile uh, clientele that we have but I have seen one, I have noticed one thing that my larger segment of the customers are uh, ladies and children. Uh, we have 11 stores where we are partner with our franchisee and we have three stores which is completely owned by us and now we are on the path of you know going for the full franchisees. I have uh, you know uh, appointed those, I appoint franchisee to those who 
ready to work with us for minimum three months to six months and we don't pay them at all uh, they go through the complete whole circle of training and we it's it's time for it's an engagement time where you know we understand each other well and he also understand well that whether this is going to be his career path and for us also we understand whether he is a serious partner to us you know at this moment i am more focused with the western india i wanted to open a uh, minimum 50 outlets that's my first milestone my second milestone is going to be 100 in western india again and i am looking for the partner those who are you know uh, those who uh, wanted to expand in that state uh, uh, maybe in next uh, after uh, maybe a 50 50 show to 100 show i will open at least 12 stores in a year so one month one store i will be able to do uh, in my in my list of juice i have 50 products in 50 products i make sure that you know every juice has to do minimum uh, contribution of 2% so if i don't see 2% or less than 1 and 1/2% person, it gives me indication that this particular product is not acceptable so we see the the kind of density of the uh, you know in the area so we need a minimum density and at the same time we want the impulsive density so like malls or hospitals or uh, you know maybe airport or uh, so we understand where the density and higher density of impulsive buying is going to happen fortunately i have grown to 50% a year for last two years i am expecting better 50 more than 50% this year I have come up with a new concept aligned with uh, has shoes is called South Bombay and the South Bombay has come because South Indian is a product which is more acceptable to even two tier cities so that is a product which I will align with has shoes and I'll go with the South Bombay and has together in that two tier city give life South Indian cuisine in which the has is part of uh, the you know the overall offering my my average selling of juice is 36% of that kind of food